everybody, if you guys are watching right now, don't worry, you're not on the wrong channel at all. You are for sure tuned into the right channel. So let's, if you guys are watching on the Silhouette stream, don't worry. We have Mr. Silhouette right here. If you guys are watching on Terry's stream or anybody right now. In fact, let's go ahead and take a moment to introduce ourselves. First of all, my name is Jared. I'm here with Heat Press Nation. Uh, and then we're really happy to be here. Max? Hey, yeah. I'm Spencer Livingston. I'm with Silhouette. I manage the sales in the US and Canada. Super happy to be here. So my name is Terry Johnson Yay! of Terry Johnson Creates. I'll pay them all later. And uh, I am the host of this event. I'm Lori Whitlock with Lori Whitlock Designs, and I am a contributing artist at the Silhouette Design Store. And an instructor. And yes. My name is Mandy, and I'm the owner of Sparkleberry Inc. And I am teaching this year as well. So, hi guys. <laughs> My name is Joe, I'm with Caesar North America, and I am just lucky to be a part of this. <laughs> yeah, we're lucky to have you, handsome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's over there pressing away. So we're super excited to be here. So welcome to Crafting Connected. So this is a live stream, and we are live from All Things Silhouette, which as Terry mentioned, is gonna be an amazing conference. Now she's probably not gonna talk it up as much as we will, you guys, this is an amazing conference. It's on, we're here in June, and then we're actually gonna be back in November. Now what is, in a real quick nutshell, Terry, what is All Things Silhouette? For those of people who are joining us who couldn't make it to the actual conference. So All Things Silhouette started in 2015. This is our eighth conference, and we have a collection of amazing industry leaders in the craft and cutting world, not only in cutting, but in sublimation, embroidery, and other things. And so we have some classes. We have eight classes over the period of two days that you can select from in order to further your education on using your Silhouette products and lots of great vendors, as you can see. Lots and lots of shopping and lots of door prizes. She means us when she says great vendors, by That's the way. right, yeah. that's right. But I need to step in here. She, she's being very modest. What I can right. tell you yeah. from Silhouette's standpoint is that All Things Silhouette Conference has, has turned into a premier training event for Silhouette yes. throughout the entire world. It's the perfect event for all of you guys out there who have a cameo sitting in a box and you don't quite know how to get it out and get and what to do with it. Come to All Things Silhouette. You'll, be, you'll take classes for two days. You'll network with some of the coolest people in the industry and you'll be an absolute professional with your Cameo or any of your machines. There's Curio classes right. and Mint everything. Alta and, yeah, it's where right. you come to become an expert at yeah. Silhouette and yeah. it, it's, it's fantastic. Try to put it on your schedule. Exactly. So today we're kind of talking about expanding your horizons, which is which is a really great topic. I think for all of us, I know everybody has a little something they want to add to that. And this event is just something that's really incredible for kind of trying new things, learning new things. I mean, we have all the instructors here. If we actually, we're gonna go down really quick. Lori, starting with you. So what classes are you teaching this year? You have, you have several, right? I have three different classes. I'm teaching one of them twice, which is the print and cut class. And then I taught this morning an illustrator class. So a lot of people that are here are professionals in the industry and they're trying to learn a little bit more about how they can create SVG files and all of that. So not only do we teach Studio, which is awesome, awesome software, really high-end software, but Illustrator as well for those that want to dig a little bit deeper. And um, tonight I'm teaching a pop-up creator class, how to use the pop-up creator that's in version 4.2 and that's gonna be a fun class. So that's at seven o'clock tonight. We've got a lot Very of cool. fun things planned. Awesome. And then we have Mandy Graham here from Sparkler. Mandy, what are you teaching this this year? I have a very full plate um, this yes, year. I was very ambitious. <laughs> um, I am teaching glitter laminate. Everybody always loves it. It's a crowd pleaser. Everybody loves glitter laminate. Um, I'm also getting to teach a software class. I'm teaching a flexi. It's on flexi shapes, which I love. They're super fun. And um, let's see. The other two are very pattern um, oriented to teach people how to use the patterns because sometimes it's hard to tell what to do with it. But yeah, so that's what yeah. I'm for. Awesome. And then of course we got Joe from Caesar North America. Joe Stamos what? over here. <laughs> I said Joe Stamos from Caesar North America. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Joe Piazza, guys. What are, you, what are you teaching this year? So Caesar, you know how we're always changing stuff up and yes. we always are bringing on new products and all this fun stuff. And uh, I, I'm sure a bunch of people have seen us torture you with the new product we're about to launch <laughs> next week. 
So the big thing is uh, sublimating outside of just white polyester with our new product. But we're not doing our show and tell yet, right? Well, I mean, you're already telling. Oh, okay. So I'm <laughs> starting it then. Let's so do it. We're proud to announce at Caesar that we're rolling out a printable heat transfer vinyl that's going to work with your sublimation printer. So yeah, we're super there we go. excited about that. So right now, my class is going to be going outside printing on white polyester. So we've been working really closely with Sawgrass and the SG400, SG800s. We're coming out with a new ink that's going to go with it. And here's an example of it. We're doing a make and take at the Caesar booth um, of the easy subly being applied. Yes, this is 100% cotton. Wow. This is something we're going to be able to do. We're extremely excited about it. So. The product isn't even out yet, but if you're here, you're getting a taste of it, and you know you may be able to purchase it. So yeah. we're super stoked, and Th that's uh, incredible. Yeah. I love that. So, and that really, I think that really embodies the theme. We're talking about expanding your horizons today. So whether you're crafting, you own a small business, you want we want you to try something new, which is a really big part of this conference. I feel is trying new things, learning new things, and so maybe you're you're used to using regular heat transfer vinyl and you've heard about sublimation and you kind of want to expand into that territory. Yeah. I mean, Joe, how easy it, is it to make the move from heat transfer vinyl to uh, sublimation using Easy Subly? Well, what's crazy is I run into so many people that already have a sublimation printer and they don't know the full capacity of what they're able to do. So when you start talking about being able to print outside of, again, white polyester, it's just yeah. mind blowing. So when you compare or mix the, the happy medium here of, of the sublimation printer and the silhouette, you're able to achieve such things like this, which is great, especially Beautiful. in the craft world. Um, another big benefit of being able to do stuff like this is without having to spend an arm and a leg, you're able to yes. do multicolor images onto a heat transfer vinyl, so you get a taste of being able to go outside of just one or two color designs, so very easy. It. I love it. That's beautiful. Now, there's now again sticking with the theme, expanding. Now, sometimes you get bored. You have cool designs, but you just want to add a little bit of pizzazz. I think we have the master of pizzazz here. We got Mandy Graham from Sparkleberry. Why don't you kind of? Why don't you kind of want to tell us like how how can we use your products to just add that spark to try new things and just get yes. into new territory? So we. We specialize in patterns, that's our specialty. And um, in fact, we are in Michael's now. Um, hey, we have hey, co-branded hey, with Caesar right. and, and we are in Michael's 11 of our patterns. Um, but patterns are in a, an amazing way to take your project to a whole new level and make it look like something that, you know, yeah. not yeah. the next person can have. So they can, but they may not know. <laughs> right. So yeah, but also on that same note, We've been using, I did not get this approved by Joe, but we've been using Caesar Brick <laughs> to do, I, okay. I teach this in my class, to make um, like luggage tags and um, key wow. rings. It's so fun. I love brick. It's I'm it's really fun. cool with that, by the way. It's so. well, we'll talk about it later. I'm, I'm fine. Okay, good. If anybody wants a cool success story in this, in this industry, check out Sparkleberry. It's one of the coolest stories you'll ever run into. Couldn't happen to a nicer person than Maggie. Yeah. Aww, she's just blown you, it up. Like she's turned it into exactly. something amazing. Yeah. Yeah, you awesome. know, I love that Spencer's adding that. Mandy, so you're pretty much a good example of not staying in your lane, getting out of your lane and finding something great. Why don't you get a little tidbit? Oh, uh, like, like the beginning yeah. of yeah. everything? Well, I found, uh, I didn't think I was a crafter, and I was in nursing school, and I worked, like, super hard to get in there and um, happened to get on the student nursing board where I needed to raise money, and I had somebody handed me a portrait, a silhouette portrait, and I was backing up. I didn't even want to touch it. I was like, no, 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 no. I am not crafty. <laughs> and lo and behold, they forced me to do it, held me down. I did it. And within like three months, we raised like 10 grand just selling stethoscope wow. uh, monograms for the nursing board. And so, yeah, it. I realized that there was a need in that. Well, not a need. It was fun. <laughs> I sold decals for a bit. And then I got into patterned and realized that we had a need for amazing patterns that were legal to print. So that's why we create original artwork. And yeah, Very it's cool. been it's been crazy. It's been a super wild ride. I I don't even know how we got here, but I'm so happy <laughs> and blessed. Yes. Oh, here, get her on I the mic. I did. Oh. Yes, we did. We 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 did. Um, all things silhouette. I I begged Terry to let me in this show mm -hmm. and um, I don't know if it'll work for any of you if you want to get into the show. <laughs> but well, cool. she let me in. She took a chance, and she let me in. And honestly, that's where we got started. So um, that's how we got on the map. We op When the doors opened, and at that time we opened on a Saturday, um, the vendor hall at ATS, it was 2016. 
and my booth for a, like an hour and a half you could not move and it was just cram packed it, I sold out of like 80% of my product in the first nice. hour and a half and we had been printing for a month so it was crazy just crazy 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 cool and it's all I mean honestly it's it's all because of God but definitely Terry Yes. I should listen to him because she let me like in. Best friend, so you're, you're <laughs> yes. He's my best friend. <laughs> They're like this. Yeah. Well, we're just happy it. to have you be here. Thank you. I love that. And again, kind of like getting out of your lane. I and I know this because I actually just had my first paper craft. I just did it. Wow. We threw a party for our boss. HPN, ten years. Woo woo. We threw a party, yeah. and so we wanted to make him a custom card in a custom envelope. So I literally just did my first paper craft a couple weeks ago, or a week ago. Yeah. And so and so I checked out all, well not all, because there's a lot. I checked out a bunch of Lori's tutorials on YouTube on how she does it and assembles everything, which to me is great because I've, I'm like deep in the HTV and sublimation world myself personally. But it was so much fun. It was such a thrill to try something new. So if you guys are kind of like me and you want to try something new, Lori, why don't you kind of tell us what, what, what do you do? Okay, well, so I've been uh, designing with Silhouette for about 10 years since the shop was in the beta program. So the very first time I submitted like 10 designs into the shop and I was like, I don't know, this might go somewhere. So I just started submitting every week my weekly amounts and it's grown from little flat graphics into 3D projects like wow. this one. Oh, oh I didn't so even know it did that. Yeah. More fun, huh? Yeah. So, Can yeah. you do it again? That was so cool. <laughs> Gosh, let me do it again. Yes, 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 she, yes. she didn't even yeah. prepare us for that. I was just like shocked. Like, oh, that's so cool. I just thought it was a boring little box here, huh? <laughs> Can I try? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Are you try guys ready? Try it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's there you go. That's wait, wait, wait. There there's go. more. Look. <laughs> no, there's not. Yes. Yeah, there's little, there's Look. Yeah. There's a little. Oh you can put goodness. it right out of there. Isn't that cute? Oh, oh my gosh. You can see the little birdie. Yeah. It's so, so cute. great. Yeah. That is so sorry. cool. Sorry. Sorry go, go, go. Lori is also being very modest, so I guess I'll tell her real story. Is she? She doesn't dabble in the silhouette design store. She is like <laughs> the rock star Queen. of the yes. design store. Anybody who goes to the design store. The top selling designs are always from Lori, and um, I actually accidentally saw one of her commission checks. This is probably not public. <laughs> I, if, if, if you need to borrow 10 bucks, you should ask Lori. That's, that's all I'll, I'll say. I'll sign up that. for that. I need to borrow 10 bucks. I can use a tenner. <laughs> you didn't have to say that. Okay, sorry. Oversharing. Sorry about that. Yeah, but it just it just goes to show you how popular her graphics are. I mean, I think that's so cool. I'm gonna try that one next. Well, but again, not to bone it again, but Lori's story is also super inspiring. Somebody who took their love and their passion of the crafting and do, doing what they do and making a, a very successful career out of it. It's it's really admirable to watch. Well, I started doing this in nap time when my my youngest child was napping and I started drawing all of these and submitting and it's just grown. So thank you, Silhouette. Thank you, Terry, for the opportunities to grow my business. It's been awesome. It's been fun. It's been a pleasure. And now, Spencer, so talking about trying new things. Yeah. What do you guys got going on? Well, What's going on in Silhouette land, good sir? So I'm trying to figure out exactly what I can and cannot say, but let me tell let me, uh, let me just tell you that those lucky um, attendees of All Things Silhouette Conference, that I, I'm actually teaching two classes, well, one class, I'm teaching it twice, um, that goes over all of the brand new products that Silhouette will be launching wow. for 2019 and through 2020. And wow. let me tell you, it's the most innovation we've ever produced as a company. And I'm going to leave it at that as a teaser. I hope if that's okay. Yes, stay no, tuned, that's fine. That's stay fine. Stay tuned for, uh, for upcoming. So you don't, uh, because you don't have to do it, everybody else is going to be posting. That's right. So. There we go. <laughs> there we go. All of the people in the classes. Yeah. So, yeah. But but you it's can... a great platform to talk about new stuff. And that's, we, we love this event. We do it every single time we can. And uh, it's a good reason to come. You should, you should show up. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And of course, saving the best for last. Terry, now we all love your story because, and I'm not going to sh share it for her. I'll let you share, but start it off with one thing and then just kind of gradually trying new, expanding, expanding, expanding into this beautiful, honestly, I love coming here. This is the only trade show I do throughout the year, by the way. Like I get my pick and I always choose all things silhouette. Why don't you kind of share with us how the event started and or kind of, you know, your story. 
Okay, well, I owned a sewing and embroidery shop. Um, brother, I sold brother embroidery machines for 13 years. And um, sewing and quilting and software, which is all a part of my DNA that I loved. And I began using a silhouette way back when, before Designer Edition Plus, to cut machine embroidery applique. And I won't go into all that right now. But um, before we could import machine embroidery applique into Silhouette Studio, I had a workaround. And so I began to show my customers and they went crazy and were purchasing a lot of silhouettes. So long story short, that initiated a relationship with Silhouette as the sales guy here. He wanted to know what we were doing to sell all these cameos. And so when I closed my store after 13 years, I can uh, my big push in my uh, sewing store was education. And I realized that nobody was doing hands-on education for the silhouette world. There was lots of embroidery classes. I had an embroidery class on Craftsy. Lori has classes on Craftsy. But nobody was doing silhouette education at that time, about six years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. And through a series of events, I ended up here at Peachtree Conference Center with some small hands-on retreats. We had 40 people in this room right here. We had this whole room and we had, no, in the other ballroom. But anyway, so I began seeing this fabulous facility with all of these classrooms, the amphitheater, and my mind started going to where we could have software classes in there. We could have a vendor hall in here. We could have breakout rooms for classes. And so I went to the sales manager and I said, what do you think? And I began contacting some some of my friends in the industry and we put this together. In fact, I met Lori at the Silhouette Summit in Hawaii. That was the very first one, wasn't it? Yeah. The very first Silhouette Summit in Hawaii is where I met Lori. And so I began putting all of these things together because education is my heart. I believe that um, there's a lot of serious things in life that uh, everyone has to experience. And so this should be fun and it shouldn't be frustrating. And while all of the online tutorials are great and I have them and, and uh, we all do, um, there's nothing like hands-on education. And so I think that when you can bring people together and share, they have a common interest of in what they love and you can share with them how they can do it better or different, then it's a win-win all the way Excellent. around. Excellent. I love it. I love it. Now, one thing I know personally, it can be kind of intimidating to not know a certain process. Maybe you want to try something new, you want to try something different, but you don't know how. Can we get any comments? Like, how do you guys feel that you know, once you get educated on something, it just lowers the intimidation factor. It just makes it that much easier to try something new. Have you guys experienced that personally? Or you just know everything, maybe? <laughs> Joe knows a lot. No. <laughs> or watch somebody do something. That's why I put my YouTube channel out there so that people can watch and learn, hopefully pick up a little something and carry that along the way. That's how I've learned pretty much everything I know about the software. I've either seen Play somebody it done it, yeah. do it, or I've you know, I played with the software. Just don't be afraid to try things. You're not gonna break it. Open up a new file and <laughs> try some things and whatever. Right. And yeah, and then watch YouTube, watch, come to right. events if you can. Just get yourself educated and then you can grow from there. Just don't be afraid. So I had a sewing mentor that used to say, anything worth doing is worth doing poorly at first. <laughs> and so, I, I, I mean, I really believe that's true. And this environment is not a workshop where you're gonna start and create this huge project and finish it two days later. We have hour and 15 minute classes. So they are small classes to introduce you to a, a technique or a product or a topic, but you're not gonna become proficient in an hour and 15 minutes. Right. But it's a great place to start every class you learn something from. You're introduced to new materials, to new things, and you can take it from there. So. I love it. I think the networking too yeah. really helps yes. out. When you meet people doing what you do, you learn from each other a lot. Absolutely. So that helps yeah. a ton. And people make friends here. Like yeah. they come yeah. back, with, then they have retreats, they go to dinner, they, you know, enjoy getting together. So. Yeah, I really, I really love what you guys are saying right there because the truth is that support is a big part of the learning process and the growing process. Like, just I, I love that everybody here is all friends at this panel. If you guys can tell, we all like each other a lot, pretty much. Okay. Um, okay. But you look around at the conference. I mean, I don't know. Am I the only one who feels the way? It's just so special to see the friendships that are here at this conference. No, I consider some of these people right here my my best friends and family. Okay. You know, my extended family. I, I don't want to say, but I said the other day, I like some of them better than some of my family. You know? I don't think my family watches them. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. That actually goes right along 
struggling with this. So I had two ladies in um, the class that I just taught, and they just met at the conference, and I've heard this so many times. It's the same story we've heard, but it's so true. There's like this special feeling and vibe here. They met, they're from two different states, um, but one of them is move, one of them's from Arizona, one of them's from Florida, but the one from Florida is moving to Arizona very soon, and they've become like, I mean, they were like, they loved each other. You could tell, like, they were like, oh my gosh, we're so excited, we're gonna craft together, and it was just amazing. Aww, I was like, that's, that's what this conference does. Exactly. Like, it has something super special, and it it's because of this lady right here. Yes. It, she has created a culture that is so beautiful, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. Yeah. We're happy you're here. Are coming together as friends to this event, and it's just a great place to meet up from different places. And best friends get together. I don't know. Just we have one of people. Just four it. sisters yeah. that come together. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Four sisters. The networking element can't be overstated, and I can honestly tell you that there's been times, there's been things that we learn in a classroom in this setting that we take back with us, and they pop up in a in an, an executive meeting at the corporate office of Silva, and it actually changes. Like it affects our company, so it's it's a perfect place to come and, and 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 be inspired, share ideas, and you know you actually can provide input that can be that can lead to meaningful change. It's it's fantastic. Excellent. Yeah, no. I can, I can second that. That's yeah. kind of what what happened here because I know between Spencer and myself being part of a manufacturing team and getting the experience of immersing ourselves into these kind of environments, like like what we were doing and what we're releasing here were all happy accidents and it was kind of just experimenting and seeing what just people just testing out and going back to what we were talking about what's beautiful about this world is even if you mess up it can still be a cool thing yeah it's it can fine. still it's be fine. like yeah it's just fine it's, it's bob cool, ross but yeah it's just yeah exactly <laughs> like it's a total bob ross like draw the happy tree over it you know it's just <laughs> it, it it's cool because you couldn't start a new trend thing is everyone wants to ride the same wake as where everyone is is going and it's selling and doing well but what's fun about this and how how creative people really are is seeing them just test it out for the first time and seeing yeah. what they can come up with you show them the ropes right we all do our youtube videos we all do our tutorials but when somebody does their first experiment in front of them or in front of you and you're like I just noticed, noticed things I didn't even know about. So you learn so much just by watching each other yeah. Yeah, and being around each other. So and it's so grown. True. I'll just say a perfect example of that is we have a silhouette showcase where attendees can bring things they've made and then we draw a prize from that. You walk in that room, it will blow you yes. away at what the attendees have brought to share that they have made. It has to be made in the silhouette software or on a silhouette product. But so, it's just mind blowing what's in there. Night lights and pillows and clocks and I mean just all kinds of amazing amazing things. It's not just vinyl on a pillow, you know, it, which is great. There's vinyl on a pillow, which is great too. But there's um, there's just a lot of amazing things in there. Yeah. There's so much inspiration floating on this floor here. And I know that sometimes that if you're in like a creative rut, you, you just want to try something, you don't know what it is, you just need some inspiration. Like, I don't know, what, what inspired, where do you guys, where do you like source your inspiration? I guess to like, we got our two awesome creators right over there. You guys are actually actively designing things. Like, where do you source your, your creativity from? Or where, where do you go to get inspiration? Everywhere. Everywhere you go. I'm, when you're out and about, just, yeah, you're just, your mind's always going like, oh, a birdhouse. Maybe I could turn that into a paper project, you know? Just pushing the envelope on how do you make something 3D? Like, how would I make a bird in 3D? Or, I, I don't know. Yeah. But I, you just, That's like the third time you did that. I'm still I like, wow. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like your prop is getting a little more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to leave. It's it's weird, weird. Weird. If, if that disappears, <laughs> then it's in my backpack. That's yeah. funny. So, so yeah. do I turn yeah. out? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, my brain. Oh yes, my brain never stops working ever. Like I can't sleep usually. Um, it's all I'm everywhere. I'm looking. I, I mean, I love Pinterest. We all we all love Pinterest, but it's constantly. I'm constantly thinking. Okay, well, what if I did it like this? Because I don't often come up with like a cool new way to do something, but sometimes I do, and it's so cool. It's so cool whenever I do that. Yeah. No. One thing I love, and kind of just pulling from a non-maker side. 
is uh, I've, my background is in music, and so sometimes you pick up a new guitar, and I know Joe's a musician as well, you play on a new guitar or you sit at a new drum set, and then you just have all these new ideas because a different product with a different sound just it sparks something. And so one thing I love here, and just kind of throwing it back over to Joe with the easy subly, is now it's like, wait a second, now I can use my sublimation printer on cotton. And it's cool because having a new product, it just kind of sparks some new creativity. So like, I bet you guys are going crazy over there at Caesar, right? Oh, it's been nuts. I mean, in, in like I said, learning about the happy accident, because Terry was very kind to allow Caesar to join the very first All Things Silhouette, and we've been at uh, all of them. Yeah, it's been amazing, but from that time, we had our own happy accident inside Caesar of figuring out that we could sublimate onto our white glitter, which allowed you to then yeah, apply onto that? any kind of color cotton and all that. But of course we had the guys that were all like, but I don't want glitter. So it was like, <laughs> for the past almost, what, three, four years, uh, our manufacturing over in Italy has been working very arduously to get this to work out. And again, teaming up with Sawgrass and working that out right now with the only sublimation printers you see here on the floor has yeah. been great. And coming out with easy subly inks to go with it, it's all just been a new wild ride. And, and it's so brand new for us that we're even still trying to figure it out. Our booth is crazy right now. Poor Melissa's by herself pressing these make and takes. But so far, the reception's been great. I haven't even done my class, but I mean, you know, at HPN, yeah. you guys are big with sublimation, all your videos yeah. and everything, so I can't wait to see what you guys come up with it, We're too. Excited. Our, our video guy, he got, he's the lucky one who got all the samples. He's been going ham on Easy Subway, and I'm like, I'm like jealous, but I got other stuff to do, so I'm like, oh, darn it. But yeah, but it, it's, it's been a lot of fun, and truly, it's starting to inspire, like, new products. Like, oh, I could do this, I could do that. So we encourage you guys, I mean, look everybody up here. I'm sure the links are coming up on your screens as everybody's talking, but check it out. Order something, get some, get a cool, download a cool paper craft, download some vinyl or get easy silly, whatever you're gonna do. Can't tell you what Spencer's got, but trust me, you're gonna want it. Um, but try new stuff, uh, it's just gonna kind of open up your horizons and just get you, just spark that creativity, you know? It's really incredible stuff. So what else do you guys do to like, because I feel like sometimes I'm just like done. Like what else do you guys do? I don't, I feel like I'm taking this time, I'm taking advantage, like what do you do? Because I want to like steal all their ideas. <laughs> when I had a mental block with creativity, I take a break. I go do something refreshing, get out, see the world, come back to my computer. And there's always, I don't know, I'll bring up something I've done before and see how I can change it into something new. That's oh, kind of I like that. what I do. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, we, and we also learn from each other. Absolutely. And sometimes people don't like that, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, but really, I mean, you, so you can build, you take somebody else's idea and you build on it and it's great. As long as you're giving them credit, like it's great. Yeah. 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 Yeah, now, so kind of speaking to, like, because there's a lot of, I know there's a lot of small business owners following pretty much everybody here, a lot of small business owners who kind of move naturally from crafting into businesses of your own. You guys are probably watching this. How important do you think it is for people running businesses to kind of stay versatile and to be fresh and new and have things for their customers? How important do you guys think that is? You're yeah, looking at all of you guys, looking down the line. Failure is so important, like it's okay. And so trying things, I mean, I've done stuff that, that have com that's completely crashed and burned. And it's fine. yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I mean, really watch our lives and you will see uh, <laughs> most of the time. Same. But it's, it, you learn something every time. So it's so, so valuable to be able to, to just do it. Don't be scared, don't be scared. Again, there's a lot, there's a lot to do and, and the mistakes can be a positive thing. Like Manny had said, like make the mistake, learn from it and or embellish on it. I yeah. mean, really you could essentially capitalize or on something that could it. go wrong. Go live, because everyone <laughs> likes the human element. We are all human up here. Our videos are just exactly what they are. So when we go live and mistakes happen, it just shows like even, even having 13 years experience in this business and I mess up, I shouldn't mess up in the eyes of everybody else, but they see that reality that I can do that too. And I mean, really, it's just finding a different route yeah, to I, do. And I think that even here with the 
conference. You know, we're always looking, how can we do this better? We after, you know, at night we get together with this team because trust me, I don't do this alone. I have a huge team and we sit and we yes. discuss how- Round of applause for your team. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. We would not be doing this without them. They are amazing. And you know, last night we all went down to the restaurant and we had a little bite to eat and drink and we were like, okay, this happened, how can we do this? And, and they make notes and then we get together. And so, you know, we just try to improve next time. This will be different. How, why was this, you know, not successful to a degree? You know, like right. everything's successful in that, you know, you, may, you maybe don't leave with a beautiful finished project, but you've learned something. But yes. we're like, okay, how can we make it better? And so I think that's true for everyone everything when you're crafting you know like like I liked this but mm, I think next time you know I'm gonna do this or I'm gonna add this and and that's one thing I like about classes Libby had a class yesterday where they were taking Sparkleberry HTV and rhinestones from the rhinestone world and designs from the silhouette designs no I think they're from the design store yeah they were from the silhouette design store and embellishing clothing and wow. it was gorgeous did you see her samples you know with the sparkleberry and the rhinestones and you know it's just a whole new way you didn't have to have a solid rock of rhinestone or simply HTV you had a combination so I think that's another thing the way you can combine things and it. just take it up a step better you know don't be afraid to try and put yourself out there and do something and then learn from it and grow you know 10% like is and successful <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like and you know what if it messes trial. up I used to tell ladies in the sewing store it's a little bit of thread and it's a little bit of fabric Pitch it. Right. It's a little bit of paper. It's a little bit of vinyl. Yeah. 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 Okay. We all hate to waste it, but if it messes, it's a learning process. Yeah. So put it in the trash, get out some fresh, and start again. You know? So. Yeah. To create something like this, I probably ruined about five sheets of paper. <laughs> right. Just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, I don't want. I don't want to say how much paper I went through for my little simple envelope and card. It was. <laughs> it was a mess. Absolutely. <laughs> Right, uh, it was good. I don't, I, feel, <laughs> I don't feel right calling it great. Like, it was a labor of love. La yes. Thank you. Yes, there we go. Terry with the safe. It was labor of love. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, now in kind of sticking with giving advice to our viewers, we have people watching from all sorts everyone from crafters to again, small business owners, and maybe you're boarding on large business owners. I, I'm not really sure. If you could give one piece of advice to somebody who's ready to make the jump. Maybe they're crafting and they're like, ooh, I don't know, should I start selling this? Should I, should I take the next step? Should I try something new? Well, if you had to give one piece of advice to somebody who's like ready to take the next jump, what would you, what would you say? What's a good encouragement that you can give to our viewers? I, I guess I, I think look, look, look for examples all around you. On this panel, we have multiple people who have done exactly that. You, you guys all have sat in your life at some point and consciously stepped out there. Put yourself out there. Um, I'm interested to hear your answer to this question because I'm, I'm just the, the boring sales guy, but be inspired. You guys inspire me. Like, I think anybody who follows their, your, your stories would be inspired by that. And so look for inspiration and then be courageous. Have, have, have the courage to step out and, and try it. Uh, you guys are all some of the most courageous people that I know. Yeah. It's a common thread. You know, you've heard that saying that about if you if you learn if you make what you love your job, I don't I know I'm butchering it, but if you make what you love your job, it's not work anymore. Well, that's not really true. I mean, um, so I mean it. It's st I still do it because I love it, but I'm not going to lie, it's work, yeah. you know, and, um, but it's, it's work that I enjoy, and um, you know, they say you'll never work a day in your life or something. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you have to be willing to work hard, and I think that's one thing that sometimes people miss, is they look at people who have done some things, and they're like, wow, I, you know, I can do that, I want to do that, and you can, you can do it, but we didn't just wake up one day, um, Lori didn't wake up one day and have... 10 billion designs in the Silhouette Design Store, you know? Or Mandy didn't just wake up one day and have her her vinyl in Michael's. You know, it had to happen. This didn't just happen because I thought it should. You know, it's a lot of hard work. So you have to be willing to do the work. And I yeah. think that that's part of it. Um, you can't just buy a Cameo or a sublimation printer or a heat press and say, okay, come to me. You know, <laughs> yeah. um, you have to be willing to do the work. So that would be some advice. Excellent. So. Anyone else want to add something? Just a lot of it is 
judgmental, like you kind of are what you think you are. So just get your head wrapped positive. around being positive and being successful and, and it will help you, I don't know, move yourself forward. You could look at the world and go, oh gosh, there's a lot of people making t-shirts or there's a lot of people making cut files. Or there's a lot of people doing whatever and talk yourself out of it really easy. You just have to have that confidence in yourself that you can be and successful too. Yeah, find your niche and make carve out a place for you and what you do. And if what you're carving out isn't working, be willing to adapt and figure out what yeah. does work and then you'll be successful. Yeah. That's good. Me Anyone too. else want to add anything? Yeah, I think I love what Lori said about being positive because um, not to get on a soapbox or anything, but that's so important um, to just make sure that you're putting good stuff into your brain uh, and not, you know, sitting there negative talk, self bag talk. You know, you want to just believe in yourself, even though it's scary, but because it is scary. Yeah. Like if I would have told somebody five years ago <laughs> that I would be doing this right now and that, you know, I was a stay at home mom of three kids and I didn't, not that, not that, that that's a wonderful thing and very fulfilling and wonderful, but I never would have thought I would have all of the blessings I have and all of these wonderful friends. And so it, it doesn't happen overnight. It just, you just have to be diligent and persistent and yeah. positive, which is what they all said, but that's my take on it, yeah. Let's reiterate. <laughs> Joe, you have anything to add? I mean, you're the last one left there. Uh, I mean, because just like Spencer, I'm kind of, we're, we're oreo between the creativity. We're, we're both on the same side in regards of just being able to, to watch what people use between both of our, our products and stuff, and, and that is very humbling to see everyone go way outside of the box of the stuff that I can't even fathom. Um, and again, m my biggest motto for, for Caesar is just do something different. Yeah. And I can't stress that enough because I know it's exciting to get in and do exactly what everyone else is doing, but it's also really cool to set the trend yourself. And if you know how to do it right, just like what Mandy did with Sparkleberry and just came out of the, you know, right out and just was like, this is what I have and you're going to love it and you love it now. So it's like, that's, that's the kind of stuff you have to do. If you start jumping on the bandwagon and riding that same wake, then that's when the defeatist attitude starts to kind of come about. Yeah. So when you do and you find your own niche, like Terry had said, that's when you feel more of that gratification, so. Find your passion. Yeah. Just find your passion. Uh, like, I look at, a, like, Lori, for example. If Lori was, like, say, a heart surgeon, I'm pretty sure she would still go home at night and probably make adorable handmade cars for her <laughs> friends. That's her passion. That's who she is. Like, it's inside of her. So find that, and then, like Joe said, like, do something different. Go run with it. And yeah. Things work out. Yeah. You know, there's an old saying that says, the greater the risk, the greater the reward. Right. How rewarding is it to, well, for you, Terry, how rewarding is it to be here and to see all this here and such a successful conference or even maybe some on the smaller scale? How rewarding is that? It's amazing. I love it. And the, the love and support that I get from all of these attendees and the inspiration, you know, I just, I, I went in the Silhouette Showcase and I'm like, I don't want to do another conference. I want to craft, you know, because so it's so rewarding and, um, you know, it's so much more than crafting. Right. And, um, you know, some of you may know, I just went through a, a long extended breast cancer battle and the love okay. and support that I got from my silhouette community Woo. was beyond measure. I, uh, I would get cards and gifts and Kendall brought me a, a, a Chicago Cubs flag and mm -hmm. a pink one. And, um, you know, so I, they're so, it's so rewarding. And when you are teaching, in, and you see that light bulb come on in someone or they come out of a class with their finished little project and sometimes it's not finished <laughs> and sometimes it's not yeah. perfect but they're so excited because they've learned something new that makes it all worthwhile you know it's just like I've done my job one of one of the most rewarding things I've experienced professionally is is working with a product that actually changes people's lives right. yes and I think um, I, I feel I, I I talk to my wife and I tell myself this all the time. I still feel so fortunate to be associated with a company as a product like that. And as I listen to each one of your stories down the line, like at some point, a silhouette product came in and changed your life. And that's, to me, there is no bigger reward than that. Um, and, and this network and family that it's created, I mean, I'll, it's, it's 
it's amazing. I'll cherish it like wherever life takes me from here on. I'll always look back on the, these days as like some of the best. You're not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. No, no, okay. okay. No. Good, but good. We need you. Kind of I need to go back to Hawaii, so you're my yeah. ticket. You're my Along ticket. Those lines, real quick, because I know Jerry's trying to wrap this up. No, no, no. We have uh, licensing events where I have three three day retreats where women come in and I teach them how they can go back and teach um, silhouette classes in their communities. And I had a woman come from the Dominican Republic, and there's a lot of poverty in that country, and she was teaching women to uh, make things to create businesses with their cameos to support their family and it was and they were driving four and five hours from wherever they lived to her classes so they could learn how to make things with their cameos so they could support their families and I was so moved and she had saved to come to this event and you know it was just amazing and now she shares videos of these women and how they're they're supporting their families through their their little cameo so yeah so that's along the lines of what you're saying, Spencer. Yeah. That is, yeah. that is absolutely incredible. Um, so again, guys, we're live here from All Things Silhouette Conference. If you're just tuning in, well, you watched the replay because you missed a lot. <laughs> but so, Terry, again, we've just been, everybody's just kind of here gushing, and not even meaning to gush, but it's just, we all just love this conference, and you can just see it in everybody, like, not even trying to gush, it just comes out how much we love this conference. Um, if you guys could say anything to encourage people to show up in November, are we, tickets are not available in November so yet, right? I'm hoping to go live with the registration this weekend. So it'll be on the terryjohnsoncreates.com page under events. Um, I was going to do it last night, but that didn't happen. <laughs> so I'm going to try this weekend to get that up and live, and then um, they will be able to register. So it's November. Uh, the pre-day will be the 8th, and then the 9th and the 10th uh, nice. is the weekend. So Excellent. So you... Yeah. Yes, the no yes. November has sold out every year, right? Yeah, and we'll, be yes. able, and we'll also have the link up for the hotel rooms. Perfect, yeah. perfect. And I can tell you from Silhouette standpoint, um, again, whatever products we come out with between now and then, there will be actual they classes be being taught hands-on yeah. with the newest of the new Silhouette yes. products. So, yeah. so that's, that's the one you want to put on your calendar for sure. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. And available for sale. Yes, yeah. yes. Buy it. Yep. Excellent. Anybody, any, you want to encourage, let's send some encouragement out there to get them here in November. What do you guys have to say? Just come. Just come. <laughs> it's that easy, right? It's amazing. Yes, yes. We have a photo booth so you can yeah. take pictures with all yeah. of your silhouette <laughs> favorites. So, yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, that's going to be our time for today. I want to say a personal thank you to everybody here. Give yourselves a hand clap. Yeah, all of our thank panelists. You, Jerry. Once yeah, again, thank you, Jared. Thank Spencer you, Press Nation. Yes. Thank yes. you, guys. Thank you, guys. Pleasure, guys. All the guys yeah. back there. We got the Spencer HPN. from Silhouette North America. We got, of course, Terry Johnson from Terry Johnson Creates. We have Lori Whitlock from Lori Whitlock. We have Manny Grant from Sparkleberry. And then we have Joe Stamos uh, from Caesar North America. <laughs> it's funny every time. <laughs> every time. It still gets a laugh. That's why I still say it. Oh, uh, every time. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, you guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you guys hopefully in November. Bye, guys. Adios.